Hey, just wanted to shoot you a little vlog from um, our lake house here in Michigan about Nebraska's uh, huge win over Southern Miss. Um, those of you who follow me on Twitter, you may have noticed I'm very optimistic and impressed based on this game. And, you know, the main reason is just, you know, Taylor Martinez just has so much command and control of the offense this year. And, you know, just beyond mechanics, I mean, you can tell he's going up, he's decisive, he's pointing to guys where to be, you know, especially on his first touchdown pass to Kenny Bell, you know, his, you know, cadence to the line turn is the way he was directing it. You know, that's the most cause for optimism, you know, I've had. And, you know, I think this, um, you know, they may still go 9-3, and three, but this may be the best team that Bo Pelini has had here in Nebraska when you consider the combination of offense and defense. And, you know, speaking of defense, obviously, you know, the defense's performance wasn't great. Um, just looking at them, you know, I think they are going to have a tough time holding up against, you know, the Big Ten. You know, like, um, you know, I've mentioned before, there's a reason they're playing 2-2 two, two freshmen on the defensive line. You know, they know they're going to have injuries there. And, you know, you know they're going to you know, have depth issues. But, you know what, I think they, you know, went a little vanilla on purpose. And, you know, even in the first half, you know, I thought after Burkhead got hurt, um, you know, I thought part of, um, you know, what the coaches were trying to accomplish was, you know, they gave you know, Nebraska, just a little adversity. And they said, you know, okay, we're going to go ahead, and we're going to have you, you know, work through this together. We're, we're not going to put Burkhead back in the game. We're going to have to do your own. I think that's great for where this team is. I think that's great for where Martinez is. And, you know, I thought no more was that, you know, really exemplified was in the long third down, um, you know, before Myers' first field goal. You know, it's third and 22. I think last year they would have called a short pass or run the ball, something cute, and they um, and you know they decided to let Martinez throw the ball down there and try to get the first down. And you know what? I think that said, you know what? We're going for it. We believe in Martinez, and that's you know the key with every coach. You have to back your quarterback. And you know right now, uh, I believe Solomon is the guy. And you know frankly. And one more thing, a little shout out here to, um, I got into a little tour war with uh, Brian Talley and um, Brandon Kavanaugh, and you know what, you're right. You know, Nebraska does have a lot of really good receivers, and now they prove that. So, anyway, I'm very happy to be, that I was wrong on that. So, um, okay, that's it for this vlog. You know, one final extra point I want to make about the defense you know, Will Compton made the most remarkable play, but, you know, I didn't really see anyone out there that made another remarkable play. And, you know, who's going to be Nebraska's second best player in the defense is anybody's guess. But, you know, frankly, with their offense, that's a good week out to have. So, okay. Uh, be well, everyone. And I'll probably be shooting you another one vlog uh, about this. Well, games and nights will be, you know, later next week. So, have a great week.